Sunday is Mother's Day, and Saturday is World Ovarian Cancer Day. For one Philadelphia woman, it will be a difficult weekend because ovarian cancer took away her ability to conceive a child of her own. But instead of heartache, she's on a mission to save others. Health reporter Stephanie Saul is here with her story of hope. Stephanie? It is a story of hope, Yuki. This young woman is battling a rare form of ovarian cancer. She is also pushing for more research so other young women don't have to go through what's happening to her. They're high school sweethearts who always dreamed of having a family, but ovarian cancer has stolen that dream from 27 year old Lexi Mastis, who lives in Philadelphia. So there's been this grieving, um, a grieving of the idea of a family, the grieving of what our children may have been like. Having been just diagnosed in February, this will be her first Mother's Day, knowing she'll never be a biological mom. Never feeling that I will be celebrated in that way is devastating. It really is. And there's the shock of having a deadly cancer, shaving her head, having surgeries and treatments. But Lexi isn't wallowing in sorrow. She's on a mission. It's very important that we have funding for research because it can add years onto our lives. Lexi is volunteering with the American Cancer Society Action Network, advocating for more research funding. And she wants to empower other young women. It's called the silent killer because it can really mask itself. Do you think had you been diagnosed earlier, the, your situation would be different? I do. Lexi was misdiagnosed for seven months as having gastrointestinal issues. That's a common symptom along with bloating. Had I been educated, maybe I'd been able to use my voice better. And of course we trust our doctors, but sometimes doctors can be wrong. Like Rocky, she's fighting back and hoping to save others along the way. It has really opened my eyes to how precious life is and appreciating every single day. And even if I have a limited amount of time, just how powerful my voice can be. So I am grateful for that. And tomorrow, for World Ovarian Cancer Day, Lexi will be featured along with 30 other patients in billboards that will be up on Times Square and in London to help raise awareness. Yuki? Climb those rocky steps like the champion she is. <laughs> okay, Stephanie, thank you.